everybody, I just want to do a quick video regarding specific documents that lawyers go to other lawyers to have drafted. Um, one such document could be a deed for a house that has specialized rules or laws on how to transfer real property or real estate uh, to someone else. Uh, that's kind of a specialized area of law. Uh, another area that you may or may not be familiar with is what's known as a quadro, which is qu uh, short an acronym for Qualified Domestic Relations Order, and typically they're used in divorce where someone needs to roll over a portion of their pension or an IRA uh, to the other person uh, in order to make sure that it's done by the, the proper tax rules. Uh, so we have a quadro, a deed, but another document uh, that even general practitioners don't like to uh, draft are prenups, okay? Depending upon your jurisdiction, uh, they are complicated uh, and can be a minefield for the unwary, even a lawyer. So um, if you're getting a prenup done, go to a lawyer who does prenups. Uh, they're going to know the rules on how to draft them and how to make sure they're executed so there's they can minimize the risk that it'll get set aside. Now, I set aside prenups uh, in divorce cases. I have them upheld. I draft them. So don't buy yours off the internet because you're going to have a false sense of security thinking, well, I got an internet. I, she signed or they signed. No, it doesn't work that way. It could be a piece of crap that you bought for $100 or got for free off somebody else's or you copied uh, a document that someone used in a different juris jurisdiction. Don't make that fatal mistake because a few years down the road, if the other side files for divorce, you're going to come into a divorce lawyer's office and realize, oh my God, this prenup isn't worth the paper it's written on because it wasn't done properly. Here's the point of the video. Don't be penny wise and pound foolish, okay? Or don't get married, then you don't have to worry about it, okay? Or cohabitate in a uh, common law jurisdiction. How many times do I have to say that? Do not get married without a, pre a valid prenup. Don't just pull it off the internet or copy it or paste it. Get it done the right way or it's not worth getting done. You're just kidding yourself, all right? I want to keep you out of a divorce lawyer's office. But in the unfortunate event that you have to come into a divorce lawyer's office because the other side filed or you just can't take it anymore, you want to make sure that that document that you signed uh, well before the wedding is going to hold up in court. I can't tell you how many times I'll see somebody's prenup and just start shaking my head knowing that opposing counsel is going to read it and call me and say, there's no way this is going to stand up. And I have to unfortunately tell my client this isn't going to fly, uh, and here's why. So be smart. Get it done the right way, all right? Understand the prenup laws, and you can get that information from a local family law attorney in your jurisdiction. I hope this helps. Leave a comment. I know a lot of people uh, think that prenups do not hold up. Yes, they do, but there's a lot of specialized rules, and there's not one uniform rule across the USA or across... Uh, the world. Uh, there's no federal prenup, okay? It's state law that will control. Be careful out there.